So I made a spreadsheet that compares all the different high interest savings accounts here in Canada so that people can very easily compare the different accounts and see which one is going to be best for them. I am personally using it to try and max out and get the absolute highest interest rate and collect as much of a deposit bonus every time I open a new account as I possibly can. Now, so far, I've been earning around 6% for about a year now, which in my opinion is really good because it's completely risk-free and I never have to worry about it. And then on top of that, I got $500 from Tangerine for opening an account there, and I'm about to get $400 from Simply Financial for opening an account with them. Now, a lot of people are saying that these promotional rates are just a trap to get you in, and then the rate drops, and obviously that is exactly what is happening. But if you're a smart consumer and you can move your money around, you can take full advantage of those promotional rates and those sign-up bonuses, and then go do the exact same thing at the next bank down the street. Now, one argument I've heard a lot is that it's not worth the time to open up these different accounts and set things up. And I got to be honest with you, it took me about 15 minutes to open up that Tangerine account and set up a couple of transfers. Two and a half months later, I got $500. I've also heard people say that that extra maybe 1%, 1.5% just isn't worth it. And if you only have five grand in your account and, and it's a small amount for you, I completely agree. It, it might not be worth it. But for instance, I'm saving up money for a down payment on a house. And so it's a fairly significant chunk of money that's actually bringing in hundreds of dollars per month in interest. And so for me, that 1% difference is like $1,000 a year, which again, for 15 minutes of work every five or six months is well worth it. Now, the third and final argument that I'm going to address here is some people have said you should just put your money into Wealthsimple or Neo Financial and get that flat interest rate all year long. And what these people don't realize is that these interest rates change just as much as the promotions do. For instance, I've been keeping track of everything on a spreadsheet for several months now, and Neo Financial has changed their interest rate several times. Wealthsimple also changes their interest rate over time and they don't even have to give you notice at least with the promotions you can lock in a rate for a certain period of time now everybody's financial situation is completely different their risk tolerances are different everything's different for each person so you need to evaluate what is going to be the best option for you if you are interested in high interest savings accounts in any way whether it's promotional rates or fixed rates there's a link in my bio that compares all of the accounts that are available here in canada with direct links to open your account check it out if you have any interest at all